is up guys, I'm Richard Jeeve and we are back with some more Naruto online and today we're going to be talking about the new treasure. We're not going to be pulling today, we're going to be talking about the new treasure. I'm going to tell you why I'm not pulling today. I want to talk about all the different characters or read the, all the different characters abilities up in here and see what they do and see who I want to try to get and hopefully I can get and, and talk about the ones I know I'm definitely not getting like Madara and Kurama mode um, Naruto and also Hashirama. Hashirama is like freaking Natachi say so it's gonna be super hard trying to get that guy but let's talk about these different characters and what their abilities are I'm not gonna be pulling today because the reason I think this is just the thing I'm thinking I think this treasure is like the Kage treasure and you need 70 scrolls to get one rare ninja if I'm guessing so if everything is 70 scrolls, I'm definitely going to test it out when we start pulling. But if everything is 70 scrolls, I, I'm trying to get to 350 scrolls so I can get at least 5 ninjas. I only have 343 right now on my win main account. And I need 350 if I can do 70 5 times. So 70 pulls 5 times. I think I can get 5 ninjas. So I'm trying to see if I can get some more ninjas. So that's why I'm not pulling right now. So I'm going to see if I can get a couple of more seal scrolls today and try to pull tomorrow on my winman account this account i think i'm gonna just wait till i get like to two, 200 or something and then i'm gonna pull again and see if i can get some on my main account but my main account only got 170 scrolls you know and I'll, this is 170 scrolls after i already did the raikage one and the raikage one came out i don't know what two months ago and so i can you can build up scrolls really fast in this game all right, we're gonna start with the first ninja. I ain't gonna say their, some of their names because some of them I can't pronounce. But the fat guy with the long hair. <clears throat> Let's see what he does. His first mystery ninja art calls damage to a combo to all opponent unit in their lineup. The selected unit will also suffer repost. Seems like a regular, you know, mystery. It does a combo and it just calls repost. So that's pretty good. I love repost stuff. All right, standard attack. Attack the Opponent's unit in the front row as a given chance of causing low float. Okay, it looks like his ability he chases low float, so he causes low float with a standard attack. And it's a given chance. I don't know how that's probably low. A given chance chases low float units and cause high flow and tag. So tag is good. Chase can be triggered two times around, so he has a two chase. So <laughs> that's always good. Two chase low float to high float. If you get the bird high float to low float, that's two chases. That's like four chases right there. So that's already good if you have the bird. The Goldberg. Now his next ability, Fearless. This unit will also have its defense and its ninjutsu increase by 1.2% every time it loses 1% of its life. That's pretty good. It's almost like it's almost like the new Earth main that the Lord of the Life, the stronger this character gets. So it looks like he's a, a I know he's a tank. Because I've seen it in some of Scion's videos, but I haven't never read his, read his his abilities. So it seems like he can get tankier, tankier to lower his life goes, and he start and he has two chases. Re uh, reduce this unit's mystery skill cooldown time by one every time this unit suffers attack. So every time you attack this guy, you just make him get his mystery back, and he can do more damage back to you. The lower the life, the more often he and. And the more you hit him, the more he does his mystery and does a lot of damage. And I'm, I think he's really tanky. It looks like he's the most common one. He's, everybody's going to get him because he's just blue. He's just common. <laughs> and he's not a rare ninja for some reason. Maybe he's just not that good without his sword because Kitsume got his sword. Body substitution jutsu. Destroy all Zetsu copies in your lineup and create copies in equal numbers of random units of your opponent's lineup these created copies will have their life based on 40 percent of the original zetsu life and all other abilities will be the same as the original zetsu so i guess he makes clones of your opponent your opponent's two random of your opponent's lineup and they have 40 percent of zetsu's life but they still have zetsu's ability right that's what it looks like it's saying. So, so you basically make clones of your opponent. I don't know how good that might be. I have to see it in action. I'm thinking you just make two Zetsu clones like your opponent. 
but they still have Zetsu's ability or Zetsu's attributes. All right, the next one: summon one other Zetsu with life based on 20% of the Zetsu. I think the the other one is just you get a stronger Zetsu clone, but it's a copy of your opponent, but it's actually Zetsu, but it's just a lot stronger because this his his stun attack summons a 25% one. It's like his mystery summons a 45% one. So that's what I'm thinking of the Renzo Zetsu's life points. <clears throat> he has a 20 hit combo chase, so that's pretty good. Cause damage and poisons up to two, up to two, four. I hate when they do that shit. Two, two up to four of the opponent's units. After using this skill, this unit will get an extra standard attack. That's pretty cool. So 20 hit combo chases is easy to do now. High chance of evading mysteries. Love that can trigger one time so he's gonna be like freaking Omui dodging everything every mystery that comes at him so 1v1s Zetsu should probably win and 1v1s this unit's defense and resistance will be increased by 25% every Akatsuki unit in your lineup so he boosts or he gets stronger every time there's a Akatsuki minister so add Conan with him Conan gives him a shield Increases his attack and he increases his own itself. So he goes great with Conan because Conan can help him and he can boost himself. It's probably going to be a long video. Cause a selected unit to suffer from paralyzed and immobile and low flow. If the affected unit is uh, already suffering from paralyzed, this unit mystery skill cooldown time will be dur. He's going to work great with Lightning Main. Use your Lightning Main's ability that. Um, paralyzes everybody if you have enough chakra to do his mystery too hit his do a lot of damage and then get your mystery back for next round so <laughs> that combo right there already makes him does a lot of damage and he gets his combo back attack the opponent unit in the front row and has a chance of causing repulse and 10 hit combo that's pretty good it's already a 10 hit combo if he does his, his standard attack he chases low float to repulse and cause paralyze. Okay, it helps with his mystery. Before each action of this unit grants a shield for this unit and a random lightning attribute unit in your team based on 20% of this unit's resistance. He'll be triggered two times every round. Wow, before each action he can... So if you give him an extra standard attack, he can put two shields on himself and someone else. That's pretty cool. Two, some one random lightning unit. So he goes great with lightning teams and lightning main. Just got a new partner, and he's a sword ninja. Is he a sword ninja? It's, he should be a sword ninja. It doesn't say he's a sword ninja, but he should be. Whatever. Uh, well, he works with lightning anyway, so it still helps. Every lightning attribute unit in your lineup will, with a shield, will have its ninja to increase. Wow, ninja to and attack increase by twenty five percent. Or 20% my bad He looks really good. He works great with lightning ninjas. Hopefully this girl works with fire ninjas Let's see what she does. Maybe we each get a ninja that works with his works with each main Cause wind and fire attribute damage and ignites up to six of your opponent's unit the, the selected unit will suffer from knockdown. That's pretty good. That's pretty good I don't know why I said it like that. That's pretty good and <laughs> You can put ignition on freaking six people and then knock down and chase that person you you target it. So that's already good. The Nixon is already good in this game. Stops people from healing. Attacks opponent unit in the front row and has a high chance of low float. So sorry, low float look like she does it. She has a high chance of doing it. So she might be a good combo starter. Uh scorching wave, chase knockdown, cause low float and ignition. This cat this cat this attack lands a critical hit. So the way they're saying it, it says this this attack is always going to be a critical hit. It says this attack lands a critical hit. It doesn't say it can't have a chance. It says lands a critical hit. So it seems like this attack is always, or this chase is always going to be critical. All right. Before each action of every round, two win attribute units from your field will receive an extra standard attack. Wow. Gara, Tamari, Kankuro. Win and just win main. Two, it can attack twice or give her two clones, depends what you what mystery you have on. So, and it says units for two win units. Is it random? Before you, it's probably random. Most likely it's random. 
and they get two extra two extra standard attacks. That's pretty good right there. When this unit lands a critical hit, her chase probably this effect. The affected unit will also suffer from immobile or last for one round. So whoever you chase is, is going to get a most likely going to get a critical hit because the way they're pronouncing it, it sounds like that person automatically get critical hit. So they're going to get a mobile and ignite. So she's looking pretty good and she helps out wind and just. I already read Edo Tensei Sasori when he came out. Look at all the people who spent money to get Edo Tensei Sasori. And he's right here in the treasure. If you save up your coupons, you can get them free. See what I mean? Like, don't spend on the ninjas that come out and, and they come out in treasures. Yeah, that's a waste of money when you get got, got them free. If I get them and the pools, I'm just going to rub it in your face. Sorry. I, I'll be saying it. You don't need to spend that much in this game to get the characters. Okay, this is Zabaza. Requires one textual point what I don't know what that word is <laughs> technique I don't know I probably I can't read okay gosh whatever point to be used cause blind to up to two ninjas of the opponent's unit in the lineup during the round this unit will gain an extra standard attack so he blinds two unit if he has whatever technique oh, technique oh technique that's what it is requires one technique point Okay, I got it now. Okay, okay. Right, you, you guys didn't. You guys, didn't, I cut that out. I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting that out. All right, one technique point, and he can do up to two blinds or blind up to two opponents, and he gets two extra standard attacks. So that's pretty good. I don't know what technique points are, but we'll see. Attack the opponent unit with the least life points, and will receive life points based on 75% of the damage caused to the opponent's unit. This skill has high chance or high, has a high chance of causing low flow. I remember somebody asked me can they do a team with Zabuza? Freak that. Look at this Zabuza. 75% of the damage he does, he heals back and he has an extra stand attack and he blinds too. This is the Zabuza you want to use. Forget the other two Zabuzas cuz they're trash. Wait for them to get books or something to make them better because this look like the only good Zabuza right now. Cause that though two things I just read is already seem like pretty good. Uh, cause low flow and repulse. This unit will get one to two technique points. So he gives his own self technique points wherever they are, wherever those are. So he looks like he's a charging points kind of ninja. So you want to make him make sure he chases. Trigger. He triggers a twenty hit combo chase. That's pretty good. That's, why I keep saying it like that? Good. Cause win attribute damage and cause three combo two up to four of the opponent's units in the lineup. Awesome, 20 hit chases is always good. He does, and he can hit up to four people and cause a three hit chase. It could be up to like seven. So if three hit chase plus the four people, that's like seven hits. So it's a seven, basically a seven hit combo mostly. Could be wrong. At the beginning of battle, this unit has one technique point. A maximum of three technique points can be stacked up. So he already starts off with one, so he'd be able to do his mystery. I don't know if it's a first round mystery, but he can be able to do it. So that this Zabuza look like the best Zabuza so far. Mangetsu, uh, see Sui Getsu's brother. Let's see what he does. Select unit from your lineup will get one technique point. Oh, he does technique points as well. Does it say what technique point does? No, it doesn't have like a description on the side where, like where blind is. It gives you one technique point. If the selecting unit from your lineup can't use technique points, this unit will grant an extra standard attack. Okay, that makes up for it because I thought it, maybe technique point gave you like a little boost of attack or something. But it, it, it just, if a person can't use it, it just gives you an extra standard attack. So that's pretty good. I'll take it. So if you do, if you use him in any other team, he's like Killer B. Gives you a extra standard attack. Attacks the opponent unit and has a high chance of causing low flow, another high combo starter probably. Cause repost and knockdown, love that. At the beginning of battle, summon one water clone with attribute of 70% of the main body, that's pretty good, it's a pretty tanky clone. The water clone will be capable of using water transfer jutsu as his standard attack, water transfer. So it has a high chance of causing low float. So it looks like he can summon at the beginning of the round a high strong a pretty strong clone at 70 percent and can it looks like it can start combos pretty well because there's a high chance of low float at the beginning of the battle greatly increase the evasive rate of hidden miss ninja 
So you can make your own, you can make other ninjas have evasiveness and dodge. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. You can give other hidden miss ninjas the chance to dodge. So like May. So you give May a chance to dodge at the beginning of the battle. Last for two rounds. Oh, that's pretty good. I definitely want to see that. If you put him with May, you have give May a chance of evading. Use two technique points. Okay, this guy used technique points to use this skill cause damage and immobile to up to two of your opponent's unit in the their lineup. The selected unit will suffer from knockdown. <clears throat> use two technique points to use this skill. So he needs technique points, so he works well with the last guy we was talking about. It'll immobile up to two opponents and the selected opponent would get knocked down. So that's pretty good. You can mobile two people and they knock down, but you need two technique points for it. So you have to spread out if you have Zabuza and this guy and that and you have to spread out your technique points. Alright, attacks the first line unit from your opponent's lineup. This unit will get one to two technique points and this unit has a high ch given chance of repulse. So a given chance. I don't know what given chance is but he can cause repulse. He has repulse and knockdown. Like I say, I love that. This unit will get one technique point. So you want him to chase like Zabuza. You want him to standard attack. If this unit standard attack defeats an opponent unit, this unit will grant an extra standard attack. Okay, he has like that bloodthirst thing. At the beginning of the battle, this unit has unit has two technique points a maximum of four so he starts off with two so he already has enough to do his standard attack and he can get up to four stacks so that's pretty good these technique points are pretty cool a new thing this guy uses technique point two it's all about technique 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 square where it's all in the technique <laughs> use one technique point to use this skill cause fire attribute damage and ignites an opponent in the lineup no chase just just that Use a technique point. It must be do high damage. Attacks the opponent unit in the front row and has a given chance of causing repulse. Okay. Chases repulse. Chase knockdown to repulse and ignites can be triggered two times around. I love chasing knockdown to repulse. And it's two times, so that's pretty awesome. Before the first action in a round, up to two Edo Tensei ninjas from your lineup will get an extra standard attack this you unit will have one layer of debuff cancelled okay it takes off a debuff and it gives them an extra standard attack before it before the first action of every round so you can take off debuffs every round and give Edo Tensei an extra attack every round so that's pretty good at the beginning of battle this unit has three technique points the maximum is three technique points can be stacked up this unit will have its defense increased by 40% for every technique. Oh, so he's a tank. He's a diff he looks like he's almost like a support tank for your Edo Tenseis. He gives them extra standard attacks. He takes off debuffs. And he has more defense the more technique points you have on him. So you want to give him technique points. It don't look like he gets his own technique points. I didn't read anything about him getting his own. Yeah. He, you have to give him technique points to make him stronger. He doesn't generate his own technique points. Use one technique point to you to use this skill called lightning attribute damage and immobiles to selected opponent units and to all other opponent units suffering paralyzed. The selected unit will suffer, also suffer knockdown. So he immobiles one unit and everybody else get paralyzed. That's pretty good. Just immobile one, knock down and chase that person, and then the other everybody else is like paralyzed. They just have to sit there and watch. Like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> they just had to sit there and watch. All right, attack an opponent unit in the front row and has a given chance of causing low float paralyzed and grants an extra standard attack. Extra standard. Oh, she has a chance of getting an extra standard attack. I guess if she does her combo, her low float paralyzed, she gets an extra one. That's what I'm thinking. Trigger chain hit combo. That's always good. Cause lightning. Cause lightning attribute damage, paralyzed, and immobiles one unit. Immobiles one un um, unit on the field, basically. So yes, this, that's pretty good. This unit, Ninjutsu, will be increased spent for every lightning attribute unit on your lineup. So she works with lightning ninjas. So she'll work with that one guy that boosts his lightning. Uh, at the beginning of battle, this unit has two technique points. Maximum of two technique points. This unit 
will have its combo rate increased by 40% nice for every technique point stacks she doesn't put her own technique point on her so you have to have a ninja she put techniques onto her like mongetsu because she doesn't do it herself so she seems pretty okay all these ninjas are seeming pretty okay now i don't know what i'm gonna do and how i'm gonna create a team with these guys but i'm freaking interested in trying all right next is this guy i don't know his name i ain't gonna try to say it cause damage to the selected opponent units low float and tags after using this Skill all all this unit technique points is zero. I guess he starts off with some technique points, but he calls low flow and he tags. Attacks the opponent unit in the front row will cancel all the effects affected units buffs and shields. This skill has a given chance of causing knockdown. So he gets rid of their shields and buff when he standard attacks them. So if you buff somebody up like lightning main or something and the shield and he punches them it's gone <laughs> he just takes it away chase knockdown to low flow this unit will grant two technique points so he gets his own technique points if there's another edo tensei unit in your lineup this skill can be triggered twice per round so yeah you have another edo tensei he can chase twice so that's pretty cool so you'll basically have three chases because he has a 20th chase cause lightning edge lightning damage to all opponent units in their lineup this unit will give one tech get one technique point so it's another way of getting another tech pe technique point if he does his 20 hit chase at the beginning of the battle this unit has zero technique points a maximum of four technique points can be stacked up this unit will have ninjutsu and attack increased by 60 percent and every technique point stacked up so four so you can have a whole bunch of damage if you have four stacks this unit will have for every technique point that's a lot of damage so he's a damage dealer but he starts off with none because they know how powerful he he is if he already starts off with some so he make you want to give him one make him chase both his chases go off in the first round and he will have a grip of attack and ninjutsu damage so this guy looks like he's a, a burster. He's a, he does a lot of damage. Madara Chia. Let's see what Madara does. It causes damage and ignition to up to nine units from the opponent's field. The selected opponent unit will suffer knockdown. If another unit from the Chia clan is present, this lineup, Madara will also obtain an extra standard attack so cool so he does he does a knockdown chase and he ignites up to nine units so that's already good and if it's another chia like otachi sasuke or whatever he gets an extra standard attack a moderate chia he don't play oops get back on this attacks the front line or oh, whole line okay attacks the front line of opponents this attack has a high chance of causing knockdown this skill never misses, so you can't block it with Hinata. You can't dodge it. He's going to hit you. <laughs> you can't get away from Madara. He's the strongest character in the game, okay? Not in the game, I mean in the Naruto anime. You can't get away from Naruto. Except Kaguya. Kaguya, though. You know what I'm saying. Madara is like the strongest. You ain't dodging him. He doesn't care. He chases knockdown to high float and ignites, which lasts for three rounds. This skill is always a critical. While he always critical hits you, and his ignite, which lasts for three rounds, his his ignite will last for three rounds. That's crazy. So he can ignite you, and it will last for three rounds. And it will always crit. My God, Mario seems kind of OP right now. All Konoha units in your lineup will have their ninjutsu and attack increased by twenty percent. You you will receive forty chakra points every time a Konoha unit in your lineup uses a mystery so you gain you gain chakra for using a mystery for every corner in your line use so you use a mystery and you gain 40 chakra so you use a 40 chakra and gain 40 chakra is that what they telling me become immune to knock down low flow and repose and not <laughs> oh my god the madara seems super strong he gets extra standard attack. He, he can ignite everybody he critical hits his night lasts for three rounds he he gets more chakra. He, he you get chakra when the person uses a mystery. 
It gives him extra attack for Konoha Ninja. He's like freaking Baruka. All right, let's see what the Kurama mode Naruto does. Cause damage to an opponent entire lineup and causes 10 hit combo. The selected unit will suffer repulse every time Naruto standard attack causes a 10 hit chase. His mystery skill cooldown is reduced by one. So if you give him more uh, combo rate, he can make his cooldown go back to one, or it's reduced by one. So it's probably a three round cooldown. And he does repost any cost to hit combo. All right, he chases repost to low flow, emo, or right, we have to go to standard attack, my bad. Attacks the opponent in the front row, causing night, causing Nixon. There is a chance of also causing 10 hit combo and repost. So there's this 10 hit combo and it causes repost. He chases repost to low flow, immobiles. Naruto combo rate will increase by 80% the end of the round. I guess after he chases, his combo rate goes up by 80, 80%. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Increases by 80%. But once you chase, when your chase be over, so what's the point of comboing? And at in the end of the round, in the end of the round, I don't know. I don't know how that will kind of work because if you use your chase, that means you if you combo again, you're not chasing. So what's the point of an 80% chase if you're not chasing? I don't know. You guys can play and explain that to me. If it didn't end at the end of the round, because it says it ended at the end of the round, so what's the point of having? A... All right, whatever. Next one: high chance of evading mystery skill. That's pretty good. And standard attack or chase skills can trigger twice round so he can dodge anything so if he gets at if you do end up landing your mystery and you start chasing him he has a chance to dodge that and it can be triggered once every round so he can dodge almost every, anything naruto is immune to all debuffs um at the beginning of battle other allies should know before his units in your lineup will also become immune to all debuff for last for four rounds oh cool they make all your units immune to freaking debuffs the only one i don't get is his chase because if you're chasing you already used your combo so what's the end point increasing your combo rate at and it, and it goes away at the end of the round because you just already chased it to get that so i may be wrong maybe it doesn't last maybe it ends the next round they're talking about but that one kind of seemed weird to me uh, the next one, Hashirama, the most strongest ninja in this treasure. Let's see what he does. Destroy all barriers and effects and cause earth and wind attribute damage. Combos 5 interrupts to up to 12 <laughs> opponent's units and the selected the selected opponent unit will suffer from knockdown. So you interrupt everybody, cause a hit, a uh, 3 hit combo to 12 people and are not caught. Interrupt 12 people and cause 3 hit 30 three hit combo and knocks down so that's pretty good and destroys barriers and ren and ren and earth attribute damage attacks the opponent unit in the front row has a high chance of causing low float that's good his high chance he's a combo starter uh chase knockdown and cause low float immobiles will absorb up to 100 chakra he'll absorb all your chakra if he does this chase oh my god that's crazy he has a 30 hit combo chase. 30 hit combo is pretty easy if you have stage Naruto. Cause earth and water attribute damage to two opponent units. The affected unit will also suffer from immobile. He's about keeping everybody locked down or people locked down. He's mobile everywhere. Interrupts and immobiles. So that's pretty good. Before this ac um, unit's action, up to six Senju users units from your field will be healed and will have all debuffs on them canceled this skill can trigger twice per round so every senju user i'm thinking it's either senju is sage mode i'm thinking is is it senju sage mode i think senju is sage mode. user will have be increased and so like jiraiya and naruto that's what i'm thinking you guys can help me out what senju is i think senju is, is sage mode right or is it people with hashirama chakra no, Hashirama Senju, so Senju is, has to be like Sage Mode. Uh, well, anyway, he is over, he's not overpowered, he's super strong, he's gonna cost a lot to get, and I know some dispenders are definitely gonna spend to try to get him, but this video has been way too long, I've been talking for a long time, it's almost like 40 minutes, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm I can't wait to pull on this treasure. Let me know what you guys think. Before we go, let's try to get to 1,000 subscribers. That's our goal. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. If you did not hit that like button anyway, I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I said Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a breeze. Yay!